That seems a little bit bigger. The Shelby seems bigger. Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to another California Fishing Adventures. Um, just gonna make this intro quick and simple. We're going out into Half Moon Bay. We're gonna go catch some rockfish. And yeah, that's pretty much it. The goal is just to catch a limited rockfish. I still have not done that. And I think I've only ever brought back two rockfish on my kayak. So today, you know what? Today's gonna be the day. Today, I'm really gonna commit to catching some rockfish today. And you know, who knows? I also brought some salmon stuff. You know, I'm pretty sure there are not that many salmon in Half Moon Bay at the moment. But, you know, who knows? Maybe we'll knock out a quick limit and just try. You never know, man. Anyways, like I said, thank you guys for tuning in to this video. Um, it's gonna be great, so let's just see what happens. Uh, let's adjust this camera. Anyways, let's get her going. Honestly, anyways. Good morning. All right, not trying to say hi to me today, I guess. All righty. This is where we go. Ah, ah. All righty. So we finally made it out to the spot, and I actually see a kayaker off in the distance. Pretty sure. It's pretty sure it's a kayaker. Anyways, today the plan is to catch some rockfish. Um. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Just catch some rockfish, have fun, you know, and not get too sick. That is always the goal. Not get easy. Anyways, let's um let's start. I'm pulling up onto some kelp right now. We've got a big four ounce jig head on with a little teaser at the top. Let's just see what happens. Boom! Yes, sir, buddy. Finally. Oh, look at this cavy. This cavy. Nice. Oh, you should all over the place. So I just caught a cavy. It has to be 15 inches to keep. So I'll see if this guy's 15 inches. He looks pretty close. It's not a keeper. Hey, that's number one though. That's cool. That's just shit on me. I'm on the freaking kayak. Anyways, number one, let him go. Nice little cavy. Woo! Nice. There's cavy.
Oh shit. Oh yeah, that's a big one. That was pretty fast. Too bad the big camera doesn't have it. Oh, it's a little link hod. Little link hod. Little link hod. Oh, at least I'm catching something. I'm good at that. Little baby link hod. Nothing crazy. Oh, baby link on. Nice and long. Surely not keep her, but little baby. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty nice. So I think what I'm gonna do since my other GoPro is dead is I'm going to um, put my chesty on there. I don't really trust my my GoPro nine that much. Just because of the bare fact that, um, just because it's failed on me multiple times. But, I mean, hopefully I'll be fine doing this. So I'm going to toss this back in the water. going to try blue. Because I was using, like, uh, the green earlier, so. Try the blue. Maybe I'll tie something a little bit bigger. So far, two fish, one ling, one cabbie. Not that bad. Just feel like there's deeper water for sure. Okay, there you go. Let's do it. There you go. I should be fine now. Bam. It's kind of low. It's a little too high now. Anyways. Cool. There was a fish on here. What is it? Oh, nice. Oh, it's a, it's a, uh, whatever the thing is called. Oh, shit. There's a little follower. Damn, that thing is freaking huge. Cool. So 12 inches to keep this. This dude right here, 12 inches. And this guy is 14. Finally, first keeper. Nice kelp green link. Pretty, very pretty. Let's get him on the stringer. Oh, good. Oh, I have a fish on. I already have a fish on. There you go. There was a fish on here. Boom. Gonna bleed him. Take him home. Nice little kelp greenling. Nice. Look at that. Cool. 14, 15 inch. Nice. Fisholi seems bigger. Fisholi seems bigger. Fisholi seems bigger. Fisholi seems bigger. Some really weird head shakes. That's for sure. I'll probably put them up. That might be a halibut. You guys like the clicker on? But it feels pretty heavy. Soft color. Oh, that's a pretty, that's a good size cabbie. That's a good size cabbie. Oh, that's a keeper. It's a keeper for sure. I 
us a keeper for sure. First time gaffing a fish too. Not a bad, not a bad gaff. That's for sure. Just came off. He just came off too. Look at that. Keeper cab. Keeper cabby. He's not coming off though. He's not coming off. He's not coming off. He's not coming off. Ah. Yes, sir, baby. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Look at that, boys. That's a big, big cabby. That is a big cabby. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. That's crazy. It's a keeper 100%. Fire right now. As you guys always like when I measure the fish, this is exactly what we're gonna do. I'm gonna measure. Oh. Flat, 18. On its side, even with the mouth closed, pushed up against, 17. 17. Let's bonk him. Bleed him. You already know the drill. Let's go. Nice. My first black and yellow. Cool. I'll put him on the stringer, bleed him out, and then keep on going. Last one of the day, going back. All right, I'll catch you guys once we're back because it's getting a little hectic out here and we gotta go, we gotta get going. Woo, let's head back. Woo, let's get it going. So I was gonna stop recording, but I'm gonna just say this, so pretty much, um, you guys all know that I usually get off the water pretty early because, you know, I start to feel queasy and all that nasty stuff. But I actually took some medicine. Thank you, Fisherman's Life. I don't know him personally, but, you know, Quells is, is a banger for sure. I would have not have lasted out here in this for more than 20 minutes maybe. You know, I am getting used to it which is a good thing, but that medicine did help. But um, I'm gonna try my best not to depend on it, just so I am able to fully get my, you know, sea legs. Because this is rough, like these waves are probably a good four feet, four to five foot swells right now, every maybe 10 seconds, 10 to 12 seconds, and there's wind starting to pick up. That's the only reason why I'm heading back. And honestly, if you know it was a little bit less dangerous 
I would just have stayed out there until I caught a limit because that spot that I zoned in on almost every maybe every five minutes for the past like 30 minutes I was at least getting a bite or something and then I caught that nice uh, 17 inch cabbie my first keeper cabbie by the way <laughs> ever and also on the kayak so that's pretty cool and I didn't use any real bait today all I used was the uh, my swim baits and all that but anyways full respect to all the guys that come out here this is crazy I'm crazy for doing this by myself but you know you live and you learn and if I were to fall in you know obviously I have my radio and all that stuff to communicate with the Coast Guard in case I do need any help but you know all you can do is just play it safe take it slow you know be aware of your surroundings the waves coming in if there's a big one coming to don't go at it fully straight on try to cut through it as best as you can luckily with this kayak I got that DV in the front so I should be straight anyways guys thank you guys for tuning in I'll catch you guys back at the launch ramp and welcome back to another California fishing adventures Hey, what is up guys so we're just gonna do this quick outro um, I already went to the storage put the kayak away and stuff I'm not I'm actually already home but anyways today was a really fun day um, I got to go out into the ocean and I didn't get seasick even though the waves were massive towards the end and I probably should have came back earlier but I was just so addicted to the bite let's just say that but anyways Overall, it was a pretty good day. All total fish, I probably caught like six to eight fish or so, and only kept four of them. Um, I caught one ling cod, two cabazon, um, one yellow and black. That one, uh, one black rockfish, one blue, and uh, the green ling. So overall, it was a pretty fun day. Um, I learned a lot today, and honestly, I just I can't complain. I'm just pretty happy overall. So, anyways, uh. It's not focusing. Like I was saying, um, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you guys enjoy this video, because I for sure did. Um, I'm not really sure what I'm gonna be doing next week, but hopefully um, we get a good day to go out to the ocean and maybe try some salmon since I did pretty well on rockfish, so who knows. Anyways, like I was saying, thank you guys for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you guys want me to do something or you want to see something, you know, comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see. Maybe you guys want me to do like a camping trip or something. I wouldn't mind doing that, you know, or go out to the lake or the delta. You know, it's been a while since I've been there for sure. So anyways, like I said, thank you guys for tuning in. Like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.